Hi there and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to design and create shadow or illusion knitting. You can find it under either topic, either shadow knitting or illusion knitting. Um, there, It is a variation of garter uh, stripes. So you work two rows in each color and you can see there are garter ridges in here. What creates the illusion is that some of the stripes are worked in stockinette and some are worked in garter stitch. When you look at it straight on, it just looks like stripes. But when you tilt it, that is when you get the illusion. This is boxes. Can you see the boxes? This is part of a color work tutorial that I have available on Ravelry and I'll put a link in the description down there. This tutorial covers a lot of different types of color work including slip stitch knitting, mosaic knitting, intarsia, stranded, brioche, and double knitting. So let's get right to it. How did I create this? I started out with the knowledge that garter patterns are square. In other words, one stitch equals two rows of garter. So if you want something, I, I wanted these to be square and you can see that they're square, then that means that I will have to have twice as many rows as stitches. So what I did was I started out by just creating a chart with my garter colors. So I started out with the two colors of the light and then two colors dark, light, dark, etc. You could also do it this way. You could start with the dark. doesn't really matter. So the concept is first you have to figure out what you want your illusion knitting to look like and I wanted mine to look like squares. So I started out by dividing my work up. Where I have the border stitches here and we're not going to be using those in this pattern. It's just the edges. What we're going to be working on is this area right here. So I have 22 stitches and I put seven stitches on each side and eight stitches in the middle. So I first divided it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, six, seven, and I marked this area. So I'm drawing my design on here. And the same thing over here, two, four, six, seven. So that leaves me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the middle. And then I know because I have eight stitches across, I'm going to need 16 rows in this pattern to make this a square. So I'm drawing a line after row 16. So on the chart, these look like rectangles, but in the knitting, they will look like squares. The next thing we have to decide is do we want the light color to stand up in the center square or the dark color? And I made an executive decision to make the dark color stand up. So then we know right now this is all representing stockinette stitch. There's no pearls in here. We know that on the wrong side row coming back we're going to have to purl these stitches in order to make it stand up from the fabric. So I'm going to mark them as pearls. And I'm going to have four of those because we have eight stitches, right? So we're going to have four ridges that have pearls in them. And it has to be on the wrong side row that you're going to purl. You're going to knit to make these be pearls on the right side. In this section over here, you'll knit, and then on the wrong side, you'll purl. In this section, you'll knit, and on the wrong side, you'll knit. So now, in the side sections, we want the light color to stand up because we have our dark color in the center. So we're going to do the same thing. On the wrong side row, we're going to make these stand up by making these knits, which creates pearls on the right side and causes that garter ridge to stand up from the fabric. Same thing over here. You're doing this on the wrong side row the return row, you're creating, turning those into knits so that they will be pearls on the right side of the fabric. 
Then we want this square up here to be our light. So we're going to mark the light boxes on the return row. And we're going to mark the dark boxes over here. So we have four garter ridges in each section, which is equivalent to eight rows. And you could do any design this way. You could make a circle, you could make a portrait, you could make a picture of a horse, whatever you want. Just start out with the, every two rows being your opposite color. Draw your design on here like I drew the squares and fill in the dots. So now let's knit this. I'm not going to knit these edges because that's just time consuming. So I'm marking those off. In the pattern you do knit those and we're going to enlarge this a little bit. So the first row we're going to knit all the way over to here. Okay, so here I have my work. I've already worked row one across so you don't have to sit and watch me knit that. We're going to start right here on row two. So that means these are going to be knits and then I'm going to purl and knit. So I'm going to knit seven And then I'm going to purl eight. And knit seven. And you would just continue in this fashion up the chart. It's super simple yet very effective. So let's look at the front of this. So we can see how we made those pearl bumps, those seven pearl bumps, and then we knitted eight, so that's flat, and then seven more pearl bumps. So those, when you tip the fabric, those are going to stand up away from the fabric. So let's look at this again. This is the shadow knitting. Looks like stripes flat, and when you tilt it, and you can tilt it the other way too, it doesn't matter. It'll do it from both angles. Isn't that cool? If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can hit the like button and share these with your friends. I'm all about the technical knitting, so have a great day and happy knitting.